Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's video, I'm going to be showing off some stuff I got at the QuadCon this weekend. It's just a local mall show here in Des Moines. It was very cool. Um, I was helping my dad set up and like be a vendor for most of the day, but I did sneak away quite a few times, probably more than I should have, to get some stuff. I don't want to show it off. So let's get into it. Um, it's a lot of the same stuff. Uh, I like. I should preface this by saying all the comics that you're going to see that I got today are pretty random. They're not assorted. Um, I just like them for the covers and the characters like to look at, not really to read. Um, so that's the context behind those. And there's no pops. Like I did, There were a couple that if they're like 5 to $10 lower, I would have definitely gotten. But the suction was kind of mediocre. There's a lot of modern stuff that like I didn't really want or I could have picked up for retail literally at Target in the same mall. But anyway... Getting into the comics day one, we have Doctor Doom 2099. Like the foil cover, I like the 2099 stuff. Got this Thor 419. Yep, Thor 419. Thought that was a cool cover. Like Thor. I'm just gonna be saying I, I like this cover a lot. Um, Avengers here. Thor on it. And these are all dollar books. I paid ten dollars total for all of these, so that's kind of my style. Cheap and Cool. I don't know. Just stuff I probably couldn't find anywhere else. Um, there's an older Avengers with Yellow Jacket. One of my favorite Ant-Man villains. I'm a really big fan of Ant-Man and Iron Fist. I got some Iron Man ones. This red and silver suit. This one's probably might be my one of my favorites. He's just standing in front of the tank there on a football field. I thought it was really cool. Like I said, a lot of these are beat up. We're in the dollar books, but um, it is what it is. It's Spider-Man 2099, number five. Good book. Um, I have, I bought a 2099, number one, today, or on one of these days. And I also bought, a, like, a really nice copy. Or my dad gave me a really nice copy uh, beforehand. So I'm trying to maybe get the first couple runs in that set, see where that goes. Here's Spider-Man 2099, number four. So I have one, four, and five. Just quite the combo. Here's Web of Spider-Man. I really like this foil cover again, and I thought the Spidey suit was pretty cool looking. I think this is, no, this I think this is the second oldest one I have. Um, this is Power Man and Iron Fist cover. Really cool. Really big fan of Iron Fist, like I said. I got Spider-Man 2099 Unlimited, number one. And this is definitely the oldest one I got. And you can see there's a giant tear in it, but it's the Marvel Age Muffins, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I think this one was dated in 1984. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'll probably just end up giving that one to my sister and my cousin. They're both big Muppet fans. This one's probably the favorite one I got. It's just a free comic book day Pokemon one. That's one I didn't have. Like I said, it was a dollar, so I thought, you know, that was pretty cool. Um, well, a lot of, okay, perfect transition. Speaking of Pokemon cards, I got a lot of Pokemon cards. Because there was a, probably like 4,000 singles at the whole entire show. It was crazy. So let's start with these two. These were both at one booth. We got this Radiant Collection Emolga here. Really cute card. Uh, $2.00. Um, that would go with my original Radiant Collection Reshiram. I thought it was very cute. It's very colorful. Like I said, $2. Here I picked this one up for $6. It is the Glaceon, that promo that you could only get. Oh, it's not really focusing here. From the Pokemon Championship that year. I thought that was pretty cool. It's also got, if it catches the light. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's got a cool reverse holo to it. Um, and then all these. The rest of these for day one came from one booth and they were $10 total. If you guys don't know, I'm big into the trainer gallery stuff because I think they really look really good for the price. And I didn't have any of these. So um, yeah, let's show them off here. So first we got the Aria Dose for a dollar. Eevee, Flareon, which probably my favorite one that I picked up. This Jolting one is also very cool. Gardevoir, Mighty Anna, the Houndoom, the Kingdra, yeah, I'm hesitate on that, 
dust norm, and phalanx. So yeah, like I said, for ten dollars total, I'm very happy with these. I think I'm up to about oh I don't know, probably twenty or thirty trainer gallery ones. I'm trying to get a big binder for them all, so I can display them all together. But I want one of the ult, like one of the nice Ultra Pro ones. I just haven't like managed to find one that I like and whatnot. So yeah. That was day one. Let's get into day two. Kind of the same story, same stuff. Oh, I should also show this off. Oh, this is something from my dad's booth that I just took. And, well, with permission, I didn't steal it. Um, it's Shonen Jump number five. I like the blue eyes on it, because uh, blue eyes is my favorite, like, card, Yu-Gi-Oh character, whatever you want to call it. So I got that as well. Um, here's some more comics. This one's $5. It's separately. Um, Mary Jane Black Cat Beyond number one. I wanted to get that book after I finished playing the Spider-Man games, um, but I couldn't find it. Here's one I picked up. Um, all these were half off. The rest of these, not Black Cat. Um, I've never seen this show or anime, but it was only a dollar, and I know that it's definitely popular enough that it should probably be more than a dollar. So I picked it up. For 50 cents and yeah here is spider-man 2099 number one my second copy of it uh, i just thought it was cool and it was five bucks like i said ten bucks for it all it's pretty good there's a couple dings on the spine but like i said i don't super plan to read it i don't know why i have two copies now i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but it's cool to have it's probably one of my favorite covers I got the whole weekend. It's Jurassic Park Raptors. One of three? One of two. For three bucks. Um, so cool. I just love the old Jurassic Park stuff. This one was 75 cents. You know, with some Raptors there. I didn't notice that until I got home. And now I got uh, probably the coolest Iron Fist stuff that I have in my collection now, in my opinion. So this one's called Heart of the Dragon variant for two bucks um on the back here i really like this he wrote um how much it was like what it what it is like first appearance wise so it says first appearance of Quan yin mother of mercy and it's a variant uh, like i said just like for the cover then here's this iron fist first issue uh first appearance Miranda rand danny rand's sister as death death wing i don't know what this says and my hand very little rough, but that's all right. Um, getting cool cover. I got some iron fists. Here's the last one I got. This is a Halo Hell Jumper. Uh, three of four? Three of five. Um, they had one and two there as well, but I just wanted that one. I thought that one was the coolest cover. So now let's get to day two Pokemon cards. I kind of went back to the same, like, two booths, but starting off with the big header. We got this heart gold soul silver skarmory for 25 cents i just thought it was a very cool art for what it was um, i got this shining genesect for six dollars which i know it's not a steal but uh, i really like the shining pokemon and they only had jirachi before this um i'm thinking about getting like psa 9 8 or not or P yeah psa 8 or 9 shining Rayquaza to my collection because it's pretty cheap and i thought it'd be cool here's another radiant collection one at the same booth it's a meloetta my sister really liked the Emolga from day one, so she made me go back and get her one. We got this Weezing I picked up. It's pretty random, I know, but it's a reverse hollow of an e-reader rare set, and for a dollar, I thought the, thought the art was pretty cool. Um, here's a card that I thought was just really neat. I think it's a 2007, so Diamond and Pearl. Uh, Hollow Rare Rampardos. Yeah, it's not very bright in my room right now, so I, the hollows aren't coming out. Sorry about that. And then back at the same booth, they got all those other trainer galleries. I found this one that I didn't have when I went back. And it's in, I think it's in Japanese. Um, it's in a foreign language, but three bucks. It's really cool. And it's not really showing off super well. Oh, that reflection's terrible, I'm sorry. The last card I picked up, and the most expensive one, was this Radiant Card Ninja. It's one of the only Radiant cards I don't have, not including any of the Lost Origin ones. 
I think this one's gonna go straight into my deck because it is pretty competitive, be viable, and my deck is based around your ninja, so that works out pretty well. And yeah, that's gonna be it. It's only two days. Uh, pretty cool event. Glad I went. A lot of fun. I'm really happy with all the stuff I got. Now let me know what you guys think, because you would definitely have more uh, expertise on the matter of comics than I do. But I still thought what I got was pretty good for 20 bucks. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite thing I got was, or what your least favorite thing I got was. What did you hate? No, I don't care. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, until next time, I'll see you around.